Hi, what's going on guys? It's me Anna Fan. Welcome back to Take Chapley. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Well, maybe you're trying to install Windows 10 on your laptop, but it doesn't work due to this error. Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. Well, it's kind of, I have been there, done that. Now I'm here in this video. I want to explain shortly why you can't install Windows 10 on your laptop and give you some clues on how to fix it. So let's get started. The reason why I say that just because this fix might be related to setting up a boot options in your laptop. And here we know that each laptop might have a quite a bit different boot option setting dashboard then. Anyway, here are a few explanations that you might find it helpful. Number one, remember to make sure your compatibility between your boot option settings and your about to be installed Windows 10 file is in the right mode. And here are compatible modes. UEFI boot option will go with GPT partition style and legacy BIOS boot option will go with MBR partition styles. If you don't know which boot mode your computer is in, then it's recommended that you should have two separated USB 8 plus gigabytes for both GPT and MBR versions of the file. This is a good idea for saving time of preparing bootable USB device when installing your Windows 10 since generating ISO files might take much of the time here. Make sure you check your boot options before carrying out any further steps of Windows 10 installation. Okay, to check your boot option, press on power button on your laptop. As for their laptop, when the computer starts right at the logo show out, you can hit F12 to go to boot option. Now, navigating to boot tab by using your mouse to click on that tab or using the right arrow key to go to it. Number 2. Choose the boot option to fit your GPT or MBR ISO Windows 10 installation files. Here are steps that you can do on a Dell laptop. Navigate to the boot list option by using down arrow key and hit enter. Two options are made available here. Now choose UEFI if your Windows 10 installation file is of the GPT partition style. Then Navigate to Load Legacy Option ROM and set it to Disable. And notice that if you choose the Legacy Boot Mode, you don't have to disable this Load Legacy Option ROM. Next, press F10 to save the configuration. After this, start your Windows 10 installation process as normal. Well, this is pretty much of the video tips for today's video guys. I do hope that you find this easy to understand the reason why you might have experienced these errors. And I hope that this video make it easy for you to have the right configuration of your boot mode before getting started to successfully install your Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you find this helpful, please share it with others and leave me a comment down below this video as you might have questions on this. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to support me more on this journey. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.